Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London. If you've been watching YouTube over the last two to three months, you would have found out that I'm quite um, the challenger. I like a challenge and um, it always excites me when things could go wrong. So um, some examples, um, my bet to Edinburgh that I could get there on one tank of fuel in my 4.2 litre Audi R8 V8, which I did, of course and a few other um, interesting videos. When I went to pick up my watch from Star Remix, uh, the guys that build custom G-Shock watches, they had built me a Team Iron Man custom G-Shock watch, red and gold, which you've seen in one of the video blogs last week. They said to me that the Gadget Show tested the durability of this watch and they actually drove over it with a car. Now, of course, that has uh, prompted me to do exactly the same test, but um, make it more difficult for the watch. Now, I'm down at SB Race Engineering on a Saturday. Um, the guys have kindly let me um, come in and use this space to do some filming um, and uh, give this video a shot. So the idea behind this video is we're literally going to drive over the watch. I'm not sure the best technique to drive over the watch, but um, the information I was given was it has been done, which means that I've got to do it. So what we're going to go do now is check out the car that is going to drive over this watch. outside with the watch in question and the car in question and we're umming and ahhing about which way to put it down whether to put it down like this so it doesn't scratch the front or put it down like this risk scr scratching the front but it also lies flat which would be good for the car so uh... test one and we're not using my watch One watch down. <laughs> Luckily it's not mine. So we're gonna put my one down. <clears throat> Wish it luck. Here we go. Oh, it matches the calipers. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. That is it. Wouldn't see Rolexes doing that. Let's do a comparison test between one tyre and uh, two tyres. So here's my watch. Absolutely fine. Literally not a scratch on it, which I was absolutely amazed by. And um, <laughs> the other watch that has been completely shredded, the screen is also cracked there you go and that was because it flicked up on the side and uh, got squashed by the weight of the Porsche Cayenne so there we go guys the sun's out now my watch is back on my wrist and uh, we've done the durability test with a massive massive car could have done it in this car but it doesn't work still so um, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope that um, you like the G-Shock watch and you're impressed by it. So um, thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and uh, definitely check out the links in the description below of Star Remix, the guys that make custom G-Shock watches. Cheers guys.